Hi everyone, it's Marin here with Fit Simplify, and today we're gonna to be working with our Fit Simplify resistance hip bands. These hip bands are great for general isometric movements to incorporate into your exercise regimen. They're also perfect for lower body exercise, as well as incorporating into any of your lifting routines. This is going to be resistance for intermediate to advanced exercisers. So there's a lot of resistance in these bands. You've got three different sizes. You've got the teal being the widest, pink being middle, and the smallest actually providing the most resistance because you have more room or range to actually pull. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the teal or the large low resistance hip band to begin with, especially if you're just getting started so that you get a feel for how it feels, how to incorporate it, as well as how your body moves with it. Now the hip bands work mainly in abductions and adductions, which help increase your balance, your core strength, as well as your lateral strength. Lateral strength is important because we typically move forward and not as much backwards too. So we really talk about balancing our back strength in relation to our forward strength, but our lateral strength is often neglected. And it's our lateral strength that pulls everything in tightly, increases our balance and our core. And if we neglect our lateral strength, we actually begin to plateau overall. So to begin, we're gonna take our lowest resistant or our biggest hip band, and we're going to do some exercises to get you started. The first thing we're gonna do is place this band right over the top of our knees, bring our feet shoulder width apart, which should be really easy with this big band. And we're just gonna do the traditional squats. So with this, you can go a little bit wider, more into a sumo squat, toes pointed in a 45 degree angle, and that way your legs are encouraged to open to maintain this nice alignment within the knees and the hips. So I'm gonna turn slightly to the side so you can see this. So same posture as any normal squat. We're pushing the hips back, weights in the heels, core is tight, back and gaze is neutral and you're gonna feel your knees wanna buckle in. In any of these exercises, the point is maintaining that alignment between your knees and your hips and your shoulders. So coming from squats, we can do nice side lunges. So you're starting in this nice wide stance, nice side lunge, coming back. Good. So stepping to one side, pressing the weight into the heel, pushing the hip back just like in a squat, and coming back together. So you're not getting your feet together all the way because you want to maintain this nice width of the band, but you're getting those nice abductions in the legs as you do these exercises, providing lots of resistance and leveling up these motions. The next thing we can do is regular abductions. So lifting, and if you want to make this a little bit more difficult, you'll place the band down below the knees, never around the knees, so either above or below. So we started above, which is, let's say the most modified version, coming below. Woo, that makes it a lot harder. Not much of a lift, but you're really gonna feel that whole body tighten up all the way up through the core, and then the most advanced. Now you can always feel free to hold onto a wall or something for support. You can see there's not much movement there. If I wasn't so focused on balancing, I might be able to really pull into it a little bit more. But that is so much resistance there. And it's okay that you have just a little bit of motion. If you're feeling those muscles flex and you're getting that motion in and you're controlling it back, you're really getting the workout that these bands offer and provide. Some of the things that you can do are standing leg lifts. So those abductions are kind of side leg lifts, but you can do standing straight up. Just really pulling. You can see I'm so flexed here. Coming back down, even out to the back. Wow, and so now normally when I do these with traditional loop bands, I'm really only feeling the muscles here in the leg that's pressing back. But what I'm noticing with these hip bands is that I'm really feeling it in my quadricep of the stationary leg as well. So it's really working the entire core all the way through. So any of these standing leg lifts or abductions, you can hold on to anything for support because you wanna make sure that you're focused on the motion and controlling the motion, not so much the balance. You can do side to side walks, 
nice and low, keeping them around the ankle. Small walks. Okay, I really gotta focus on using that. I'm feeling that in my glutes. That is so effective. It's so nice. And then what we can do is bring it back to the hips here. I've got a nice stool and we can do some elevated lunges. So bringing one foot up, extending this foot and coming into it. You got that nice stretch in the band. Just make sure that knee stays behind that front toe. It's okay if it pushes forward slightly. And we're just coming down, squeezing the core and everything. I am tired guys. These work so effectively. I am actually so amazed, surprised, and pleased with what my body is feeling right now just by doing these small movements. You can incorporate this into bigger body movements too, like burpees. So here we go. Around the hips, nice wide stance, come down, press up, jump. So you can be dynamic, you can move through it, you can use these with weightlifting. This is just adding that nice lateral strength training on top of it so you're more effective in your exercises. So the next thing that we have is some kickbacks coming down into our hands and knees position. We're keeping this right around our thighs. Play with where you want it to be. If you want it to be less resistance, all you need to do is move the bands up a little bit more. So we're taking our hands, placing them underneath our shoulders, knees under the hips, Lifting one knee off, kicking back. More resistance, come down closer to the knees. <sighs> nice back kick, knee is bent, keep that back as neutral as possible. Try to move just from the kicking leg. Tighten that core and exhale. <sighs> we can bring the bands down to our legs, come into a nice plank and just walk side to side. Keeping that back nice and flat. I'm feeling it work the core all around really effectively. Coming down to the ground, we can do our nice side lying abductions. Ooh, making sure that body's nice and straight. Relaxing, tighten that core. You can bring your head down or rest on your forearm. Lift, tiniest little movement, hold it there. Flex the muscles, relax. Exhale, lift. Everything is flexing. Relax. These are beautiful. Taking them up to the knees, feet down to the ground for some bridge thrusts. Make sure those legs are opening so you're feeling that tension of the band on either side of the leg. Exhale, pressing through the heels, lift. Slowly come back down, exhale again. We're getting more work out of each movement, making us more efficient and effective. Good. The next exercise that I have on my list are some bicycles. So keeping them here on the knees, we're coming up, knees are up, we're gonna lay back, lift that knee, kick one out. So now the workout's not just in the core, the workout is also in the legs as well. And then we can even bring this down to the ground. If you don't like the standing leg raises, Palms flat on the ground, back flat, laying leg raises, getting those hip flexors a little bit more than the standing. <sighs> Exhaling as you lift, really squeezing the core, tilting those hips forward and flattening the back. <sighs> Good, relax. The last motion that I wanna show you is utilizing a chair. We can do our traditional clamshells, bringing the bands right around our hips, right above the knees, feet are shoulder width apart. We're coming to the edge of the chair, I'm holding onto the chair, and we're just opening. Relax, exhale, relax. These are great for abductions. And I would say they're a lot easier than the standing ones at the ankles because you get a little bit more movement here. So those are just a few exercises that you can do to get started using the Fit Simplify hip bands. These are amazing and I have to say, they've probably just become one of my number one favorite things. Loop bands have always been my favorite things. They're very easy to pack, they're effective, they add so much dynamic and resistance to your workout, but this 
it's pretty awesome. Being an intermediate to an advanced fitness level myself, I really appreciate these and I, got, I think you guys are gonna love them just the same. We hope you enjoy them and we hope you enjoyed this Get Started video here on Fit Simplify. I'll see you next time.